like I came from California and I went to a fairly small um, private school. It wasn't very large class size, you know, and so coming to a big university was was pretty daunting at the time. My name's Tamara Chisholm. I uh, went to University of Michigan, graduated in 2010, started there in 2005 um, as a freshman, and then I took off a, a semester to work actually at my company that I'm now working at now. was originally called soil and material engineers but then they kind of just shortened it <laughs> now it's just SME and basically we do third-party testing we're on site during construction phase of a project and we make sure that everything is built per the project specifications and drawings and what you currently do what is what do you find most exciting about you know the job so I started like my career um, mainly in the field like i mentioned we're usually on construction sites hard hat work boots like that um that jacket i have in the background you know <laughs> bright neon and i've transitioned in the last year oh, just a little over a year to project management primarily i'm in the office now but i manage our field some of our field staff on certain projects that i'm managing so i kind of get a different aspect so i feel like i'm doing a lot more training um kind of like feedback giving feedback to our staff on their um, different like reports or their deliverables or whatever we might give to our clients. And then I'm also dealing a lot more with like budgeting and like trying to keep the client happy, you know, kind of in that sense. There's always some news you might have to give to the clients. It's like, hey, we found this buried thing, you know, or there's a bunch of water in this soil but that we didn't know or whatever, you know, just having to, to have these tough conversations, I think, with clients to say, hey, this is gonna cost you more money or, what you wanted to build needs to be modified, which might push schedule or something. So it's just having those difficult conversations, I think it's the most challenging. I just like interacting with people, honestly. Like you just meet so many diff different people, um, even if you're in the office and dealing with clients, you're still building these relationships. And I think uh, you kind of learn new perspectives on things too. I was given the opportunity to ironically kind of uh, manage a lot of our U of M projects. The University of Michigan is one of our clients. I don't know, you've probably been seen in the last four years of you living, you know, on campus, like South University looks completely different. <laughs> like, you know, like so much has changed in that city. They're constantly building. So from like a construction perspective, um, which is kind of why I like civil and stuff like that, is the fact that like you can see like what you've been working on or I can walk by and I'm like, hey, I worked on that building, you know, or, like, hey, I'm helping to make this, uh, you know, this campus look better, especially with the dorm renovations. Like I lived in Mojo for a, uh, a while and that was like the last year before the renovation and now it's like super beautiful and there's all these like high tech medias and it's kind of cool to see that develops. Since we're on the topic of college, can you talk about just like, I guess, some memories or like highlights of your experience while at Michigan? Oh man, there's so many. <laughs> For me, I mean, engineering obviously takes up a lot of time. So I did spend a lot of time studying. You just, you couldn't not or else you'd fail, right? So I did tend to focus myself more on uh, like multicultural groups, um, just because that seemed like my where I fit in. So I did a uh, ship, a member of Lambda Theta Alpha, so that's a Latina sorority. And just having that support group was huge for me and that's what I like miss the most, I guess. Not to say I don't have it, you know, in my real life, you know, normal life, but you, I mean, you don't have it the same as you do in college. So I was really fortunate to find groups like that to um, connect with and, and feel at home. You know, coming in both from California, so being out of state and also <laughs> being Latina, how was that coming into a, you know, the engineering space where there's not necessarily a lot of faces or people like you? You know, coming to Michigan, which isn't as diverse as we know, um, it, it was definitely a little bit of a culture shock, but I think I was happy to see that there was some multicultural groups that are already established on campus. Um, so I think that made it way easier. Um, I thought, like, I really liked being a part of a uh, ship when I was, uh, in terms of seeing, like, because uh, that was also, I mean, it's not like it's exclusive to just like yeah. Latino students, obviously, but um, we'd collaborate with like Nesby and stuff like that. Um, uh, the, was it, National Society of Black Engineers, right? Yep. This kind of the reality of, of our industry in a sense. Like you don't see as much diversity in STEM programs as you might like to. Um, but it was nice to have that, that uh, 
support system and seeing, at least seeing people succeed uh, when I was there at Michigan. What advice would you provide students right now how to make the most of it when they're? Sure, I think that anything that you can do to like, I guess not just sit, I mean, this sounds really old of me, just not sit in front of a, like a screen all day, you know, like taking a chance to try things that may be a little bit out of your comfort zone or may you're like, ah, I don't know if I like it, but um, I think that's important in general uh, for high school students and current college students. Um, and. And I think it's easier in college because there's so many opportunities. Like get out in the world, look at stuff, you know, go interact with people, um, try to find things maybe within your community you can do. Like even community outreach, like kind of stuff where you're like Habitat for Humanity or something, like you're building a house or something. You know, like this real life hands-on experience for me is huge. You're going to learn plenty in your books. You're going to spend plenty of hours in the classroom, plenty of hours on homework. Like, you're going to get that, so don't worry about that, right? Like, do things that's going to develop you in different ways, I guess, to make you a more well-rounded person. So just finding your passion, I think, in the end is, is super important. Thank you so much um, for, you know, taking the time and sharing all your advice and a little bit about yourself. It's been really good and interesting. You know, Good, I'm glad I wasn't boring. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs>